this is a video showing my new Ericsson made made out of Daikon Yellow N1900 A66 model. This phone is all original. I've not put any new parts in this phone except that cable, the black cable coming out of the junction box. The rest of it is original. And the dial label is a replica, but the original Ericsson one with extension 29 is still under that label. I'm going to put my number on that when I put it in the service. So original Topaz yellow, yellow cable. I've not seen yellow Ericsson phones yet. This is the first one I've seen was yellow. Original box on it from Ericsson. Original handset cable. Original dial 12. And may it tell you if it's diacon or not. Inside the handset, there is a 12. If it's ABS, you'll have a 17. This phone was made in year 1961. According to the markings on the receiver. Now I'll show you inside the phone. I cleaned this up, got it working as well. Inside the case, you have a paste diagram. And right here, it is stamped 12. It's very hard to get these Diacon phones who have not been smashed because if they get smashed, they're recased in the late 60s mid to late 60s with new cases but this has not been recased it was never refurbished because this was over here in Australia and it's, and it's unconverted this would not even mess with most of these you'll get offline messed with and um, gone through various people and there have been a lot of things messed around with but this one's not the only thing was messed inside this phone was this cable was moved up here and a jumper cable installed there to make it make a um, make a mistake wiring for this there is no resistor in this phone because the resistors inside the junction box are wired wired so I want to keep it original inside I got this over here um, in Australia I didn't get this from the UK um, if I did it would cost well over a hundred dollars to get it over from the UK but I got this um, um, oh, we got wrong it would cost me about two hundred dollars to get a phone from the UK to here um, in this condition but it only cost me a hundred and eighteen for it it's a good. It's actually worth its price. It's in very, very, very good condition for its age. Normally, I won't pay hundred dollars. Um, over me, normally pay about fifty-ish for a phone, but we don't normally pay over hundred for it. But as this one was in very good nick, I thought to grab it because it is very, very good. It's actually ninety-five dollars for the phone and eighteen bucks shipping, so it's actually about hundred, about hundred and hundred and three dollars for this. I'm pretty sure. People who work on phones, you know, this is a very easy job to do with a screwdriver because I only use um, slotted screws to do all the, all the screws and slotted screws. Under the phone, it's got the code number N1900A66. Now, the last features are a real famous number in Australia on a locomotive over here. That's what made me get it as well without that full number on it. I'll show you inside the junction box and then I'll hook it up to the land light to my PBX and I'll do a demonstration. The task white on there is the hot the one neutral and the resistor jumping across from the bell to the white so it makes it a render of one. We've got English web over here now. Um, bloody raining and bloody thunderstorms again. Better than the 30 degree heat we had yesterday.
I'm hugging into the PBX. Um, I've got a PBX unit as well my bags. Oh, oh I had that thing when I did that. And here the dial tone. Yeah, you know, him for the show there as you can see. So this includes the video of my new Ericsson N1900A66 telephone from 1961. Now, if you have ever died on telephone, it's the best idea is not to drop it or anything, because if you drop this, this will shatter like glass. I'm not joking, I've had one of these in the past. It was an Australian firm made a die on, and it shattered like glass, and I dropped it on the floor. So you've got to be very, very careful with these old Diacon telephones. They will shatter and they will break. They're very easy to break, these phones. But this one has not got a crack or anything in it. It's like, like it was made yesterday by Ericsson when it hasn't been around since 1961. But this is my Ericsson N1900A66 telephone from 1961.